Hey guys, welcome to another video on my channel and in today's video we are going to be taking a closer look at the aphid weapon. So uh, the reason why I'm going to be taking a look at this weapon is because uh, recently I was running some aphids and I've actually been seeing some more players uh, run aphids so I figured maybe you know they've changed something uh, to this weapon so I'm going to see if it's uh, been buffed in any way. I did notice um, that this weapon the arc of the aphids tend to fly a little bit higher so I'm not sure if it's just uh, my imagination but it seems like it does that so I'm running with a uh, Jesse right now I actually got to be careful of that player back there because that player has uh... yeah I'm still hitting I'm still hitting that uh, that wall there but it does seem to be flying a little bit higher maybe I've got to move back let me just try this yeah, so it's actually it's actually uh, going all the way over here. I think we're going to be in trouble. Uh, let's see. Trying to uh, knock down that guy's uh, shield so that uh, my teammate can go in with his Orkins and uh, take him out. It seems to be doing quite a bit of damage. I also have a, a pattern aphid loaded up as well, just in case this one gets taken out. I'm trying to look at the uh, the arc of this weapon. I'm getting uh, hit by a lot of stuff back there. Ooh, I wonder if I can get that fury. 500 meters away. I gotta be careful of their uh, RDB though. I think I might be able to close the gap here. Let's see. I think I might be able to get this guy because he's hiding behind. Yep, here we go. It is pretty deadly. Let's see if I can get this uh, Lancelot here. This actually does quite a bit of damage um, if you are firing, if you're moving back, like, I don't know, the arc seems a little bit different. Maybe you guys can tell me, you know, if you found that they've silently buffed the aphid weapon. That guy might actually be, uh, he might, uh, I find with the Jesse, you got to be careful when you uh, use the wide setup. Like if you take a look at my weapons now, if I fire, it actually fires into this hill. So I got to back up a little bit more or I switch to uh, this one here. And this will allow me to uh, clear the top. That should do it. It's weird because you never ever see a Jesse being used in Champion League. I think this guy's gonna get taken out. <laughs> he didn't uh, see that one coming. He was standing still too, which is the reason why he took all those aphids. So I'm using my cover here. Um, I have a feeling this guy's actually gonna jump me soon. Yeah. So that should take me out. But that was actually some pretty uh, solid gameplay, I think, with the uh, pattern aphid. I'm not gonna, or at least the Jesse aphid. I'm now gonna spawn in my uh, pattern aphid to see if I can. Uh, defend here because I'm assuming these guys are probably going to try to uh, advance. I'm looking at this guy's distance. He is sort of closing in. 500. Yeah, this guy's when he lands is when I'm going to fire. Here we go. Yeah, that is a lot of damage. I'm actually going to target uh, 
this Lancelot first, knock his shield down for my teammate because he does have a death button and that should make it a little bit more manageable for him. So yeah, aphids seem to be pretty effective. Whether I would actually run it in my main hang is another story though. I'm, uh, I think I'm actually going to move to the right side because they've kind of uh, given up on the left side. There are probably too many aphids. So I'm going to move to the right side here and see if I can help uh, support my uh, teammates. Just taking a look at the uh, distance. Yeah, they have uh, quite a few guys here. Ooh, that hit pretty bad. So it seems like they've actually changed the arc slightly. So it, I think it does go slightly higher. But uh, these these aphids seem a lot more uh, potent than they used to be. Um, that's sort of the reason why I stopped running it. Uh, other than the reason that you know they've changed the uh, rocket mechanic. But uh, these aphids seem to be doing a pretty good job here. Yeah, it's taking uh, chunks out of that guy, and this guy's gonna get hit by, you know, four... I'm gonna fire all of them. That is some pretty... <laughs> that's, a, that's a lot of uh, damage with these aphids. The nice thing that I like about the, uh, the Jesse, though, is it's just a lot quicker, so you can really evade if you need to. I'm gonna see if I can hit this uh, Lancelot here before he... Oh man, he's so busted up right now. Yeah, that will do it. If I can get close to uh, this guy behind the building, I might be able to uh, fire my aphids. He's trying to hit me. I'm trying to see if I can get closer and closer to him by using uh, my cover. They've actually got a Haichi here too, so i got to be careful of that guy. What I might actually do is I might fire... I was actually thinking of firing my aphids at him to knock his shield down so that my teammates uh, can take him out. So uh, there you have it, 688,000 damage uh, using the JC aphid and the pattern aphid, so not, not too bad. But uh, in the comment section below, uh, let me know what your thoughts are on the aphids. Do you think they've actually been buffed slightly? Uh, because I don't think anything was actually mentioned. Maybe they gave it like 5%, I think more damage or something. But the arc actually seems a little bit different too. So uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts on that and I guess until the next video, I'll catch you guys later.